Yes. Yes. Welcome to El Pass the Rings, Volume 75! Today we're talking about the Trishim Broad Lita 12-inch LP that came out on April 3rd of 2017. Um, this release was a carefully constructed thing uh, that began literally at the very beginning of Zegman Beach Records. If you go back to sampler number one, which was technically released before I had even the first Zegma uh, physical vinyl in hand. So there was like, who was there? There was Carrie in the Spring, Via Fondo, Amber, and Cassilis, I think, uh, as well as Trishim Broad track from their first LP. Well, okay, their, uh, their more recent one from, I forget when, 2012 or something like that, it was a, a collection of hidden sketches, which I found out about through the Elementary Revolt blog, which was uh, very instrumental uh, for the beginning of Zegma, as I found out quite a few bands through that blog, including Via Fondo and uh, La Parade and Old Soul, to name a couple of them. Uh, so what do we got? I really got into that first 12-inch, so um, after that I was kind of chasing after the band. Uh, I helped release I Love Your Lifestyle, mm, the very first EP on 12 inch and then I got to help release the Neon Day plugin 12 inch LP um, frustration. So those two things were kind of leading up to this. I got to help release the Sore Eyelids uh, EP which wasn't really tied to this band but it was again it was the Swedish like semi twinkle thing going on. I was really trying to get a grasp on that. Uh, so finally the day came when I heard some demos uh, from this this LP and myself and Darren from Dog Nights, and uh, Through Love, Through Love, uh, Paul, Paul at Through Love, those were the, the three labels that, uh, that were able to be lucky enough to release this 12-inch, so um, what did we do? I believe we did 300 copies with um, 100 being on a half and half, green and clear, and the other 200, or whatever the primary variant is, just on the black. Uh, it comes with a nice insert too. Uh, I can't read it though, for it is in Swedish. What's next? Uh, let's talk about the tracks because they're awesome. So um, what do we got? Track one's got a flute in it, so that that's pretty cool. Um, track three has literally one of the best uh, guitar progressions that I have ever heard and it runs through for about a minute and a half, I think. Uh, it starts at the one minute mark, and I think it goes to like two or two and a bit, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's it's such a catchy, poppy, like how was this not already written kind of thing. Like, it, it seems like it should be in everyone's head, and when you hear it, it will get in your head, but in a good way. Um, so track three, absolutely fantastic. Uh, track five has kind of a spacey via fondo, uh, much faster feel to it. It's the only track that's under two minutes. You've also got uh, that closer. That closer is pretty sick too. It's got uh, the last half really uh, changes direction and shows, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, like a noisy post-rock, post-hardcore feel to it. I, I don't know. It's still screamy and, and, and heavy and stuff. It's, it's very cool. This album goes all over the place in a good way and it's very, it flows very, very well. Uh, it is truly an underappreciated album, and if you like Via Fondo, Sweet La Lune, any of the of the Swedish stuff, you need to check this out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Swedish stuff, you should probably go check out Via Fondo, uh, Sweet La Lune, for Shim Broad, uh, Neande Plagen, uh, Suffocate for Fuck's Sake, uh, Visa Mauske, Verandra Samikat, uh, Careless, there's so many amazing bands from Sweden, and they were all active around the same time, and some of them are still active. Uh, Trish and Broad, I don't believe, are broken up, but I would assume they're on hiatus. I have not heard anything since this came out in 2017. Uh, ooh, one can hope. Uh, there were some hiccups uh, with the release of this album. Uh, the first not-so-big one was the uh, embed code issue or link issue for when one of the premieres came out for one of the songs. There was an apostrophe 
at some point and uh, the link just wouldn't work. So we had the song premiere that we were trying to push out there on the internet and we couldn't because it wasn't actually up anywhere. So um, that, was, that wasn't really a big deal, I guess. Uh, and then the other one, which isn't a big deal for me, but I'm sure kind of like eats the band sometimes, is tracks two and three on this LP are switched. Uh, as in, like, technically the song titles for two and three are not the correct song titles. They should be the other way around, but the jackets had already been printed, the jackets as well as the, uh, the center labels, and uh, they had uh, they had teared or tarred as track two, and uh, I'll tar some as three, but it actually should be the other way around. Right. And on the internet, I put them back as the correct one. Huh. Interesting. Well, look at that. You wouldn't even know unless you cross-referenced the two. Uh, what else do we got? Anything? We are finally getting low on this. There's not really that many left. I don't think we have any of the green and, and clear ones. The black ones, at least in the Canada store, I've got maybe like five. Dave in the U.S., I don't know. Probably not that many. Um, check this out, honestly. Absolutely fantastic band, um, amazing hooky, like emo screamo with like a twinkle effect that is not the cheesy Midwestern twinkle, it is the Swedish twinkle, which is a different thing and is much better. Um, so until next time, uh, I guess I'll just go clean up these boxes. That's the outro. <laughs> <laughs>